All right, everybody. Now, I think you all know I love introducing you to talented people from around the country. And my next guest is absolutely no exception here. In the early 90s, uh, she was part of a successful gospel group called the Anointed Pace Sisters. They had several hits on the Billboard gospel charts, and several years ago, the group disbanded, and one of the sisters pursued a solo career. Uh, but the road to the top ain't been easy. However, she's become quite a viral sensation singing in places like Walmart and the airport. <laughs> and her videos have received millions of views. So let's take a listen. Say hello to Duranis Pace. <laughs> hey, <y 'all. laughs> Thank you for the honor. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See, Ms. Duranis, you draw quite a crowd when you sing it. Why, why you think your voice touched people? I, I believe the Lord gave me a a touch when they fed me rat poison in Rochester, New York, and they had to cut out half of my vocal cords. And they said I'd never talk again. But the man upstairs said, <laughs> said, you gonna sing again. This, this rat poison, it, it, they thought it had ruined your vocal cords. Right, right, and I, I had uh, thyroid cancer. Uh, they gave me three years to live. And uh, March 28th, be 11 years ago. <laughs> so you just been messing around with God your whole life, huh? Oh, my life. You don't know nothing else? I don't know nothing else. <laughs> and I, I tell you, I'm just glad to be alive. I lost all my hair, lost 189 pounds. But I gained a life, a love for God and life and people. Yeah. I'm 200 pounds now. You 200? I'm 200 and I want to get 50 more. You gonna be 150? Yes, sir. You better watch yourself. Yes, sir. I'm going to Broadway. <laughs> you going to Broadway? That's my dream. From eight years old, I want to go to Broadway. You want to sing on Broadway? I want to sing on Broadway! You know, my mama uh, raised me to, uh, she said, Steve, God gonna give you a big house on the hill one day. He said, but you can't get on the hill and don't tell nobody else how to get up there. Uh, oh. yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. You so all I'm thinking is, my mama was dying, you know. Um, my father, Uh, she was on the life support. Oh, Jesus. And uh, I'm the youngest for five, you know. Bless you. Bless you. My father called me in there. He said, I want you to go in there and tell him, take your mama off life support. Oh, God. And um, Jesus. that was the hardest thing I ever did, you know, to wow. tell a doctor. 
Whew. take my mom off life support. Jesus. Um, oh, my God. I suffered with that for a long time, you know. Yes. Yes. Oh. But uh, somebody came to me and told me my mother was cool with that because <laughs> she was ready to go. Yes. So I was raised where she in heaven now, you know. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, she and is. And she watches me. Yes, you know, sir. She sees. Yes, sir. I just hope she's seeing today. Yes, sir. Watching this moment right here. Yes, sir. I really, the only reason I straighten up and start doing right because I just want to see her. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're going to see her. You're going to see her. Other than that, I'll still be yes. going to hell like I was. <laughs> you know. We all been there. <laughs> I want to see my daddy. So yeah. I relate to you. You know, you, you coming here today. I, didn't really, I thought, you know, this is just a put me on segment. Wow. Never heard about your story and said, well, we give a chance, but I didn't know you was gonna come in here and do all this. Now you, <laughs> now you got me all jacked up. I was just gonna... You special. You special. Now nah, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You special. And I love it because he is so real. He tell it like it is. He loved to lift you. He loved to let people smile. Make people laugh that ain't laughing in years. Make you feel like living again. That's Mr. Steve Harvey. Everybody says Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Steve. Yes, sir! <laughs> yes, sir! You gonna make it to heaven, sir. This ain't going how I'm supposed to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, I'm supposed to be doing all the talking. <laughs> uh, you got me in here tripping, but you know what's crazy, man? You think I'm helping you. Yes, you are. <laughs> but you really helping me. I thank you, Coach. Yeah. This was for me. Uh, we're back with Walter Carr, a really inspiring young man uh, who walked 20 miles to make it to his first day of work. What motivated you to walk instead of calling off your first day? I just got laid off my job for UPS, so I was putting in job applications, and nobody would give me a call back. And I was just like, somebody just give me that, that chance so I can show them who I am. And the moving company called me and said, hey, you hired, and I was so grateful for that. My car broke down, my ride bailed on me, and I was like, I was thinking, I can get there. I got two legs and two feet. I have a way to get there. So I was supposed to be there at 7.45 in the morning. I left at 11.40 p.m. that night, at 4 o'clock in the morning, right before you get on the highway. I decided to take a two-minute rest. And at that time, a police officer came to the side and said, how are you, are you okay? I said, it's gonna sound real crazy, but I'm actually heading to work on my first day of the job. So what happened next? His friend that knew that me in the area, came, picked me up, and drove me the rest of the few miles. And at 6.30 in the morning, we arrived at the homes on the house, and he went ahead and told them it was OK for me to come in and be this early. So the homeowner, Jenny, is here. <laughs> OK, so you're the homeowner. What did you think when you opened the door and you found out what had happened to Walter? To be honest, I, my eyes just filled with tears. At, at 6.30 in the morning to hear that story. You just loved him right away. I mean, he just, just a fine young man, you can tell. And, you know, being a mom, I knew he was tired. I said, hey, why don't you go on upstairs and just take a little rest before we start the move? And that way you can, you know, rest before your team Wait comes. Minute, hold up. You tell this kid to go upstairs in your house in a bedroom and, and rest. I did, because I knew he had to be tired. And he said, no, ma'am, I want to get started and help you guys move. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get to this part, folks. Uh, Luke Marklin, who happens to be the CEO of Bell Hop Movers, was so impressed by Walter's determination that he wanted to personally thank him. Check it out. He's got everything he needs to be a Bell Hop. The one piece he's missing is like a way to get there. So uh, this is my car. I'd like it to be your car. Oh my God. 
this whole story is so good. It's so good on so many levels. You know, first of all, young people, to find that type of grit and hustle in a young person today, today, Jenny was so inspired to help Walter out that she set up a GoFundMe for him. The goal was to reach $2,000. And they ended up collecting more than $90,000. <laughs> Walter, what'd you do? I gave a $25,000 to Burnham Ed Education Foundation that was in the high school. With that organization, get high school students ready to go into college life and get ready for So us. you knew about this organization? Yes, I was in it in high school. Oh, you were in it? Yes, sir. They made me to be the Walter I am today. Really? Thank you. Hey. you know him? Yes, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carpenter, what would you like to tell Walter? Well, Walter, you've inspired me. You've inspired thousands of people all over the world. And with your permission, we want to use the donation that you gave us to start the Walter Carr Award. Right. And... I mean, for him to do that in your name, for this woman to open up her home, for this guy to give you a car, it's still a lot of good people in this country, man. It's still a lot of good people who care. It just is, man. It, it just really does take a village. I, you 20. Yeah, sir. You ain't see this coming? No, sir, I didn't. And you my biggest idol. I always analyzed you throughout my whole life. Every show, everything you do, I have always been a watch. Hey, man, don't, don't do this to me today. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here. To see my biggest idol and be right here with you, it's a blessing to me. And I thank God for it. I really do. See, you know, man, what's crazy about this is if you're a spiritual person, you ain't missing this. You, you just got to see how it all come together. You, you have no idea who God made you to be. But you got to hang in there to find out. You can't give up. It's at your darkest moments he show up. He show up, he be shining, man. God show up. See, the, the color is all out of the story. This ain't a story about color. This is, this is really, this is really the truth about who we are and who we supposed to be. It ain't supposed to be no old oh God, he can't come stay in my house. Who that little black man at the house? Call the police. The police, we keep hearing about how they don't pick us up. They do pick you up. The police will go get you something to eat. Every police ain't shooting us. We got, we, got to start, we got to start telling these stories, man, because these are stories that's got to get out because it, it, it inspires other people. This is so crazy, the way this happening. Who lets somebody they don't know come in their house and go upstairs and lay down? Who gives away a car? Who puts a scholarship? You got a scholarship in your name, dog. That's crazy. Do you, do you see that? That's... Well, Walter, you done messed me up to date, and that's not the only surprise we got. Uh, your dedication and determination has really, like I said, it just inspires all of us to be better. You, you have no idea the path you set on. You don't know, man. You can actually be a poor kid from nothing. Yeah. And because of God's grace and mercy, he can put you in places you never, ever thought you'd be. See, I'm sitting here. I'm tripping because I'm, I'm a you. Mm -hmm. I was a kid out the dirt. And where I am today is because of that grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. It's sort of crazy, man. I hope you... I hope you see what's happening and get on this path and stay there because you, you didn't get sent in this direction for no reason. Mm -hmm. You ain't got a scholarship in your name for no reason. These people didn't give you this car for no reason. 
This woman didn't open up her house for no reason. The police didn't pick you up and, and didn't do you like you read about. Okay. They helped you, they fed you. All of this happened for a reason. You got to stay on that path, man. Yes, sir. Cause of that, we gonna send you on a five night getaway to the True Bay Boutique Resort in Grenada. Yeah. Now, you probably don't know where that is because I didn't know where Grenada was till I was 44. So you're gonna need a passport. You got a passport? No, I... You gotta get busy, dog. See, I know all this here. At 20, I didn't have nothing. I'm telling you, this dude is me. You're gonna experience an all-inclusive accommodations in a two-bedroom villa. Yeah. See, you ain't even got a two-bedroom apartment. <laughs> no. Yeah, see, all this way over the top right now. And then all of this airfare is provided by Grenada Tourism Authority. Walter, uh, you, you're an incredible young brother, man. And God, God got something really great in store for you. I mean, it didn't already started, but you, you're on your path to some real greatness. You're gonna change a lot of people's lives, man. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.